Welcome to the Museum of Andover History at the Old Town Hall in Andover, Connecticut. Hello, one of the many interesting items that we have in the museum is this campfire uh, ceremonial gown uh, that started out as an organization in 1910 called Campfire Girls and it continues on to this day as just Campfire Incorporated, I believe. Uh, it's a open to boys and girls at this point in time. It was originally set up to uh, offer girls the outdoor experience that boys were getting through the Boy Scouts. Uh, this would have been a ceremonial gown. It was uh, designed to look like a Plains Indians woman's dress, as you might uh, suspect. And the embroidery and things would have all been added by the girl in the organization as she progressed through the ranks and uh, got various participations and achievement awards. Uh, that's what these are. Symbols down here would be early on. Um, these were actually stenciled on, penciled in, and then embroidered into the dress itself. Later on, uh, they became patches, so this is a fairly early dress. Um, the rank would have been symbolized and by also embroidery. This one says it's a, she made the rank of fire starter. Uh, the beads would have also been acknowledgement of achievements. The larger beads would have indicated that they had multiple achievements within the same category. And the symbol for the Campfire Girls right there in the center. This belonged to Editha uh, Birmingham. Uh, it was donated by Sue Losey. Uh, Editha was born in 1898. Again, the organization began in 1910. So, um, again, believing this is a very early dress and given the age of the participant, it was probably from the 19-teens. <laughs>